If you choose to be a doctor, you must have perseverance, endurance, sympathy, and must have the interest of the patients at heart, with the sole motive of saving lives first, and not about money. This was the thrust of an autobiography of Professor Samuel Adetola Debanjo, Debanujo, titled Precious Hearts in My Hands, launched in Lagos. Plus, TV correspondent Lavi Kuku Yedekon was there and now reports. The book presentation brought together family, friends, alma mater, and close associates of Professor Samuel Adetola Adubonajo, a cardiothoracic surgeon. Titled Precious Hearts in My Hands, the book speaks to the very essence and nature of what Professor Adebonajo lives for. The message is if you choose to be a doctor, no matter which doctor, one, you have to be you have to be persevering, you have to have the endurance, the strength to withstand, and you have to be sympathetic and have the, the, the influence of the patient at heart. It's not money. It's not money, it's the patient. I never did any private practice. I had very little money. Money was not my intention, but saving lives was my intention. The 222-page book x-rays his journey through life, education, sojourn abroad, medical profession, and into the U.S. Army. Chief Akin Pukwala is a book reviewer. He aptly encapsulates the exploits of the author in a book. In the book, I didn't know that Omopa do work to school barefooted. This was really interesting to me. So Baba worked barefooted to school. Uh, he started at Burugu Primary School and on to Ijebode Grammar School and transferred to the CMS Grammar School where he completed his secondary school education. Atumba Michael Balogu is the chairman of the occasion. With emotion-laden tone, Atumba Balogu told the story of how far he has come with the author. Tola appreciates relationships. No, he will no. sacrifice anything to make you feel proud that you have someone related to you doing all these things. I have learned a lot from him. That is what I mean by the, his good natureness. Apart from that, God blesses his soul. He will sacrifice anything to make a cousin happy. He is a cousin I would like to have any time. The occasion presented an avenue for outpouring of tributes to the author. He say he's strict, I agree. But what do you expect? Somebody who's achieved so much from self-discipline, from commitment to whatever he does. You can't expect a better standard from such a person because it takes, life is not a party. And because life is not a party, people don't only work hard to get to where they are, they also work hard to stay and go above where they are. It's a reflection of the kind of upbringing we had in our time. And um, when this generation reads it, I'm sure they will learn something from it. And uh, it will help improve the current generation and probably generation coming. Life of the author of the book is an autobiography. So you are hearing technically from the author's mouth what and what he went through in life. And like I did say, he came to St. Grammar School. The school has values. We have our values, we have our traditions. Some of those values and traditions were the things that have helped Professor Adibonogyo even up till now. Number one, is very, very sensitive with time and appointments. The consensus is that the book, Precious Hearts in My Hands, is one that is bound to inspire and impact positively on evil generations on burn. Love, Ikuku Uyidoku, Plus TV. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.